Hey everybody, it is Andrew back here today and let's get into another 8 tips today. So, today is day 4, so if you haven't been with me so far, I've gone into 3 days so far of 8 tips each. I will link uh, the first couple of videos at the end of my video here. My favorite day is day number one, so take a look at those especially. I think they're all good, but anyways, let the let you judge whether they're good for you or not. And I say, uh, first and foremost, I say, these tips work for me, they may not work for you. Look at your own personality and what will work for you. Some of them may work, some of them may not. They are helping me. I'm looking to hit 300 bookings here for the month of March. So far, I'm on target. I'm a little ahead of schedule so far because we can see so far into the middle way of March and things are looking good. So let's keep on moving. They're working for me. See if they will work for you. So let's get right into it today. Let's get into the eight tips for today and hang around for my eighth tip. If I could give a teacher one tip, tip number eight would be it. And it is a very simplistic one. But at the same time, it is a hard one. So you'll see what I mean by that at the end. Uh, so hang around for that one especially. So the first one that I'll get into is on a loyalty program. So don't let the big corporations be the only ones that have loyalty programs. You need one as well. Now, this does not work for all students. Level 1s and 2s, it's, it's too complicated. But for your level 3s and higher... It is something that is helping me immensely. So as I've mentioned before, Teacher Yvonne, thank you for the fast money game. That has been such a gold mine. I will also, I'll link that one here right now. The fast money, that is the best reward game I've ever seen. It is just golden. I love it. And along the same line as that, as I've come up now with my own loyalty program, that I give them cash at the end of each class if they win the game. Now, as I've mentioned, you can go back and take a look at my rewards. I play games in every class for the rewards, and I have a way of telling whether they win or not. If they win during that, um, during that rewards, they get money at the end of class. And I have a spreadsheet then that I go and I put in whatever dollar value they got. And then the big kicker that Yvonne had, whoops, upside down, uh, to buy something. They can eventually buy something in, in the store. So for me, and again, you can come up with your own ideas. It doesn't have to be something that's a big make work project. It can be very simple, but just something that will make them want to come back to your class over and over and over again to get more money and it's just something that keeps it exciting so for example in my same game if they find three of the same during that class they get money so if they don't then no money for you no soup for you this class so it's just something your loyalty program if you can develop something anything to keep them wanting to come back to your class all the better for retaining students next your background. I'm not going to spend much time on this, but just make sure it's eye catching. Whatever it is, make sure it's eye catching that it looks like the parents will want to click on it when they see your profile and see your video. Just make it eye catching, colorful. That is what the LPs have said. They like giving trial classes to teachers with colorful backgrounds. So make it colorful. Number three your webcam and this was a little bit of a, a problem for me up front so I was using the old webcam in my old computer it was shrinking my window down to about that big and I wasn't retaining the students unbeknownst to me I eventually figured this out so and the picture wasn't clear anyway so even if it was a good sized picture it was not clear so I went out I went to Best Buy, I got myself, I think, 60 or $70 camera or webcam. Um, it's got a nice glass lens, and that just makes the picture a little more crisp. One of the best, in, maybe the best investment that I've made along this whole journey, get an external webcam. 
Okay, number four, and I will link this video here right now as well on followers that I uh, that I have done. Um, and the reason why I say followers is important, and, and to be perfectly honest, I used to think, well, followers don't really matter too much. But I've done sort of a 180 turn on that one, and yes, I feel that they are very important to do. I give a lot of reasons in that video, but here are the two main ones for followers and why this is now important for your bookings. So one of the reasons to increase your followers or a way to increase your followers is to get uh, your 24 hour bookings or get more 24 hour bookings. Now your schedule you need to be at near capacity because to get uh, the 24 hour bookings you need to have some holes that you can put into your schedule and hope that they still get filled so what I do is I take and I cheese hole a little bit of my schedule so that there are some slots that I know are highly sought after like your 7, 7.30 um, Beijing time in along there and 8 Beijing time I know those are very hot so I will cheese hole a little bit there and what I mean by that is I will just leave them so they, they can't be booked in the frenzies. So then I go and replenish it 24 hours out and that is doing a couple of things. Now, usually it will get me another student in there. Sometimes I just go without a slot, which so be it. Um, but now my schedule is getting busier so it's, it's, it's allowing me to get those students to, to book in there. Um, for that part and what that's doing is it's usually giving me a new student so the reason why that's important is because with new students you could be getting a new follower because if you do a good job in class they will likely want to follow you so it's very important to keep some new blood in your class very important in terms of increasing your followers so that is the reason number one the second reason or the second way to increase your followers is to work different times of day periodically. Now, I mentioned in a prior video that it is important to keep a consistent schedule. Yes, that is true, but you can have exceptions to that where maybe you work a little later one night and you get up a little later the next morning. And the reason why that can be important is because if you start working different times of day, you will tap into new students that need different times. So if you're able to get them um, get a new student that way as well it just helps you broaden your base a little bit more more followers more new students all the better that way so increase your followers number five schedule so along the same line here but different at the same way is really throw your schedule out as far in advance as you can so what this does is and I know it's difficult we don't know what our schedules are in the future but if you can throw your schedule out, let's say a month in advance, that just helps give certainty that the, when the parents are looking to book, if they see your schedule is consistent for the next little while, they just have a little more confidence to know that you're going to be around, you're not going to be all over the place with your schedule. So if you can do that, and I know not everyone can, but if you can, try and do that. Number six, the chat box. And I mentioned the funny story there yesterday on my video that I couldn't use the chat box because my D didn't work on my computer. And anyways, use the chat box as much as you can, especially with your level threes and higher. Um, it's very important that you have that two-way conversation whenever you can, just especially for new words that are not on the screen that you're looking to spell. Just it's a great feature, great tool to use that I feel is underutilized, including by me. I need to be using it more. It's a great feature that is there. Uh, number seven, update. So update something on your profile every week if you can. This is what I was doing up 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 until recently. Anyways, I've stopped doing it a little bit now, but update something on your profile every week if you can so what I was doing anyways is I had two pictures I had two professional profile pictures which were just smiling profile or passport photos one with a black ba background one with a white one and I would swap them every week we all know there's algorithms that a VIP kid has going behind the scenes 
and I think that will tap into the one of them if you update something whether that's your video or your profile picture something that VIP kid needs to confirm on their end I think that might kick you up to the top of the queue I don't know I'm just throwing mud at the wall but I've heard that from lots of different teachers that could play into an algorithm that they run behind the scenes there for giving you bookings or for or for trial classes getting more trial classes or whatever so try that it will not hurt anyways to keep your profile fresh also and the last one so the big arrow stand up in class that's what that one is if I could give one tip to teachers it is just that and I got a comment just yesterday so just yesterday I will read it verbatim and it's just the start of it this is how she started she jumped right into this you are the first standing teacher we have met since we came to VIP kid that was what she jumped into right off the start that's what she said so that is important to her obviously she sees that's important so I looked at that comment I said oh I wonder how many classes you know maybe they've had you know 10 or 20 classes I look up how many classes 235 classes and I'm the first stand-up teacher that this student has had so you don't understand I guess until you see the difference in your own presentation between standing up and sitting down I know it is hard it is hard to do it and what I say is it's like running a marathon you're not going to be able to do it up front for all your classes but even I've heard I think it was Kelly that mentioned that she stands up one class and then sits down the next I really like that that's good too um, or if you can try even standing up for one class a day and then maybe you can do two the next week whatever um, and again if you don't feel it's important that's fine but I know for me personally that my presentation standing up is way better I've tried both mine is way better way more body language way more energy way more everything that the parents want to see in my opinion that's me <laughs> but I've just seen the comparison between myself if you can stand up stand up I will show you my nice elaborate setup here I've got my desk that's here I've got the nice TV table that's standing above it I've got my yoga mat that I stand on you need something to stand on that's soft otherwise your lower back is going to ache and you're going to hate me <laughs> for suggesting it I so I use a yoga mat it's got a nice little padded uh, that I stand on if you can have some padded shoes or whatever on top of that even better but it is just something like I said if I could offer one tip to a teacher stand up in class all the rest I know is important too but if I could offer one that would be it so those are the tips for today I will go into over the weekend day number five of five for the booking tips hopefully they help you all the best leave some comments on what's working good for you I love hearing the feedback as well and all the best in your teaching Bye.